Hello everybody, Mr. Lego Lover 55 here, and welcome to another Lego set review. Today we'll be taking a look at a my first Bionicle 2016 set. This is Umarak the Hunter. Now before we before we get into the video and, and stuff, um I'm just gonna go over a few things that I said on previous videos, which include the Bionicle 2015 Wave 2 overview and the uh Nexo Knight's uh, Ultimate Robin set review that I recently have uploaded today. So, in my Bionicle um, Wave 2 review, I said that I won't be doing any 20, reviewing any 2016 sets until I have done the 2015 overview, overview. And I haven't done that yet. I haven't really worked on it because I've been busy doing a lot of other videos. But I now on to the other thing. So, um, the Ultimate, um, Nexo, the Nexo Knight Ultimate, Ultimate Robin set that I reviewed, um, I said that I got it at Barnes & Noble's, um, yesterday, and that is true, and I was actually on a Bionicle hunt, but I found that instead, so I got it. But then I coincidentally went back to Barnes & Noble's today, and I found a whole load of Bionicle 2016 sets, as well as some other new LEGO sets. And I only got, uh, this one, but, uh, it's a good start, so I'm very happy that I got a set from 2016 before it's officially released, so I'm very happy about that. Mission accomplished. But uh, now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the actual review here. So this is the Umarak the Hunter. So yeah, this is the set I chose to get. So of course, gonna go over the box first. So the top here, we have the Lego Bionicle logo as always, but then we've got a new little thing here. It's all green. Got the mask of control, so that's very nice. Got a picture of the actual set. Got the name Umarak the Hunter, and down here we have the set info: ages eight to fourteen. Set number seven one three one zero, and it's a hundred and seventy two pieces. Uh, pretty nice box art here. You've got some stuff going on in the background. You can you can, you can see all the United Toy Uniters. And we've also got the Mask of Creation here, so that is very nice to see. On the back, it shows all of the, um, all the functions and stuff you can do, and as well as a comic. So, got the pop-off mask function, six stud shooter, all that stuff, waist gear function. And it shows how you can combine, um, I'm not sure what the name is, I think that's Kitar, Creature of Jungle. I know it's the Creature of Jungle, of course. I wasn't sure about the name, though. Um... And you can combine the Creature of Jungle with Umarak, and then you can get a Unite United version. And I don't think I'll do that, just because it doesn't really make sense. I'll, I'll do that more on the uh, the Toa. I'm not even sure if I'll even get all the Toa. I do not know yet. But we'll find out. So, uh, yeah, and then here we've got a little comic. Just try to zoom up on that. So you guys can look at that if you want to. Pretty neat comic. Alrighty. And we got that in Spanish. Oh, and an actual size of the Mask of Control. And we have the Buildable, buildable Action Figure logo. So, now that the box... Oh, now that the box is out of the way, we can go ahead and open this thing up. Okay, I am back, and I have taken the tape off. As you can see, taken the tape off. So, now... We can go ahead and open this up, and the cardboard is actually much, much thicker than it was for the Wave 1 and the Wave 2 sets for 2015. So, and it, this box is pretty heavy, actually. So, hopefully we actually get stuff. E either it's all the parts, or it's the box. Might be the box, but maybe the parts. Alrighty. And we go ahead and close that up. There we go. And, uh, alright, so, in this, we get, um, one of these bags, uh, this bag full of some large parts, and then this bag full of a lot of technic parts. And we as well get a instruction booklet. Oh, and we also get one of these blades, hook blades, separately. Not in the bag, it's, for some reason, it's in the, out, out not in the bag. Alrighty, so now, let's go ahead and open these bags up and take a look at what's inside those. Okay, now that we have unbagged everything, or at least most of everything, 
Let's go over the new parts as well as the recolors. So as you can see here, there's uh, I didn't decide to organize these pieces just because there is a whole lot of Technic stuff and that's kind of good for building and stuff, but not so much for organizing this stuff. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it in a pile here. There's not really any new pieces in there, except maybe like a few new recolors, maybe this, I think this might be a new recolor, this toothpiece, not sure how many of those you get. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it though. Alrighty, but now it's time to move on to over these over here. So this we've gotten before in Skull Slicer. This is, is it, it's an old piece, but um, we usually get new nice printings and this um, printing will be exclusive to this set. Uh, so yeah. Pretty, very scary looking printing. Looks like um, looks like a little face right there. Got the two green eyes and then a mouth right there. Very scary. Whoops. And then next up we have these, whoops, these shadow trap uh, pieces. And um, so yeah, these. Uh, we get two of them in the set and they come in gunmetal gray. So that's very nice. We also get this new torso piece um, so yeah, we get, we get this new torso piece, yep, and it doesn't have ball joints on the shoulder, so it's very different, and I'm pretty excited to see what's going on with that. And then here we have another part of the new torso piece. This appears to be, go underneath and connect on that. I'm not sure if you put these together, you can take them apart, similar to the, um, to the stud shooters, but, um, We'll probably wait on that, figure it out. Uh, feet, nothing new. Oh, we got this new armor piece here in gunmetal gray, so that is also very nice. Very, very bionicle looking. Very similar to the Baraki, um, specifically Karpar or Kalma, so very, very nice looking. I like it. Uh, another new recolor would be, I believe these are a new recolor. I don't, we've gotten these pieces before in like trans blue and everything, blue, maybe black. Um, I don't think we've seen them in this color before, so I think we, these are new recolors. We get two of those. Um, these uh, bone pieces, I believe, are also in a new color. They are, so they got this one right there, the little hole right here, and they got it in trans. Jungle green, I guess, which is what I call it. So we got two of those, so that is very nice as well. We have got some, I think, more of these recolored type pieces. We get four of these. These are the tiny ones, so these are like the smaller versions of these ones. So these ones, I believe, might be new recolors. I do not know. We get four of those. Um, this is a new recolor. Actually, I'm not too sure about this. This might this is a new recolor for Bionicle, but it might have appeared in some Star Wars sets already. So I I don't really know if this is a new recolor or not to Lego, but I'm pretty sure it is new to Bionicle. Haven't got that in that color yet. We've got the new Brainstock or eyepiece in red. So this is very, very nice. They just it's pretty much the same as the 2015 one, but they made it shorter, probably just to make sure people or kids don't knock off the mask as easily with the pop-off mask function. So I think they did that pretty well. We'll have to see how that works. Then we have Umarak's uh, mask, and it looks awesome. It's all nice and fused with the all nice melded. Uh, the black goes really well with this uh, trans jungle green, so I really like how they did that. And, of course, we have the Mask of Control. Something funny. I, I honestly thought we would have got this in the, um, in the, in the, um, more in the, uh, the summer wave of the Bionicle sets, more than, other than the winter sets. I wouldn't think we get it so early. Um, so it makes me wonder what we're going to be getting for the summer sets. So, uh, it's pretty nice to get the Mask of Control. So now... We have two of the legendary masks. And that's pretty much all the new colors, or the new pieces and recolors. Um, we do have, I think, maybe a few new recolors in here. Maybe like that um, red spike right there and the dark red, but yeah, not really much else. So let's go ahead and build this thing.
Okay, so here is Umarak the Hunter, fully built. And I have to say, he looks pretty good right now. So, um, anyways, for his color scheme, his uh, main color scheme, of course, is going to be black and trans jungle green, which is what I like to call it. I like to call it jungle green. I think it's called green lantern green, but I'll call it jungle green. So, yep. Um, so yeah, that's his color scheme. He's got with a, kind of with a hint of this, uh, tannish, brownish type of color. Not really sure. And then, so that's pretty much it. For his functions, he's got a few main functions. So he's of course got his uh, bow right here and there's no gear for the um, for the actual bow. So um, I'm honestly, I would think that most people, most big Bionicle fans would probably be happy with this because th I've been watching stuff and that's a lot, of, that's one thing a lot of people were complaining about. So I think Bionicle has listened to the fans. And another th reason I think Bionicle has listened to the fans is because they added more Technic into the build. And so yeah, that looks very great. I think they did a great job with all the, with this whole Technic build. Excellent with that. Um, let's see, for functions, oh yeah, for functions, his bow, which you can shoot, which I will show down in the arena or target practice. His uh, next function is a swivel function in his hip. So right here, there is a gear that you can just uh, turn and move that up a bit. And sorry, this uh, sword's down a little bit. And you can turn him just like that. And if you want to, you can make him... So yeah, it doesn't have a full range of motion. Doesn't turn 100, 360 degrees or anything, but it turns enough to get the job done and to make it look realistic. So that's pretty good. Um, so yeah, but I think it would work better with the sword. So yeah, and speaking of the sword, we do get a little sword down here and it's, it's, it's kind of connected onto here. So that's very nice that they did it. And near the sword, we've got an extra set of ammo for the bow. So that is very nice. Unfortunately, if you switch the sword, and the bow round. I'm not actually sure about this, but it doesn't look like you can actually put the bow anywhere. You just maybe have to hold on to it. At least it didn't say anything about it in the instructions. So, um, yeah, um, we also do get the Mask of Control here. The Legendary Mask of Control, as you can see there. Um, oh, and another thing, another thing, the pop-off mask function. So, it works pretty well, actually. Um, it works the same as it always does, but I think they, they did a good job making it shorter so then you don't accidentally... So yeah, they did a really good job. So just simply do that, and the mask pops off. So that is very nice, So th and I think they did it a made it a little bit tighter as well. So uh, yeah, I think they did pretty good with that. Um, there is another cool, really, really nice cool function in this set. Um, we, c we can take a few pieces off of Umrak and we can make a shadow trap. So, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so it is time to make the shadow trap. But one thing I just did notice is that there, there is no really official way to connect the sword to his hand. So, it's a little unfortunate. And, uh, so, it, they didn't mention anything about it in the instruction. They just had it right there. So I think that's a problem. They've had that problem for quite a bit and in the Bionicle, recent Bionicle sets, so that's a problem that I think they should fix. But let's go ahead and start building the Shadow Trap. So we're going to go ahead and take these shoulder pieces off of Umarak right now. So they're a bit tight in there. We'll just take this off and then put this little piece back on. Yeah, they're a little tight in there, but uh, we'll get them out just like that. And we do need that chain, so we'll hold on to that chain there. So there we go. He looks a little bit bare, but oh well. Can put those down if we want to. Then, then we um, need to take his uh, toes off. His little green jungle transparent green toes or claw. And then we need a few of these pieces that um, we never used in the actual set, but they just gave have them had us have it. So uh, yeah, now it's time to build it. So we're gonna go ahead and take, oops, these two pieces, 
and put that in like that. Then we're gonna get these shadow trap uh, armor pieces and put these on both sides like that. And we're gonna go ahead and get this little Baraki eye with this uh, gray pin. Put the eye in that. Put the eye in on that. And then get our chain here and put it on the back of it. And then finally, we put on these claws and turn them into legs for the shadow trap. And we're done. We have the shadow trap right here. And he can grab anything just like that. So that's pretty cool. So uh, I really like how they did that, how they had this a feature in the set. I didn't actually at first I didn't even think they would do this cuz it looked like we had enough parts to actually do it, but I didn't actually think they would actually implement this type of feature into the set. So that is very, very nice. So, I think it is now time to get to the end of the video. Oh, no, 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 wait. Before we get to the end of the video, we've got to do the target practice for his bow. So, let's do that now, and then the end of the video. Oh, wait, no, we forgot something else after that. Hold on. Oh, of course, I've been mentioning it all this time on what I, what is in it. Oh, I forgot to go over the instructions here. So instructions on the front, same as the box, um, picture of Umarak. Uh, the comic is the same as on the box as well. Pretty cool, Umarak stealing the mask of creation. And it also looks like he's trying to escape one of the Toa Uniters, so he's probably trying to get to the mask before they do. Uh, shows you if you're confused, you should organize your pieces. And then we have the instructions, more instructions, keep going. And then we have the final product. And it shows those pieces there. And then it also shows what pieces to take off that you will need to make the shadow trap. So there we go. And then our good old list of parts. And then a Bionicle 2016 poster. And so uh, yeah, I've got some shadow traps there, all the Toa Uniters here, so that's pretty nice. And then here we have a little a little uh, combo model that we can do for Umarak, which again, not going to do. Unite for battle. And then an advertisement for the Bionicle game that's available on the App Store as well as Google Play. And a little advertisement for the Netflix, the Journey to One Netflix original series. I'm very excited for that. I can't wait for that. Finally get a Bionicle show. And then it shows how you can unite Umarak with any of the creatures. And I'm not going to do that just because I, I might. I don't know if I'm going to get all the sets, but we'll see. Next page. Once again, we see all the Toa Uniters. And then that on the back. So that's it for the instructions. Now let's go to target practice. Okay, we are in the target practice little thing, so now we're going to go ahead and start off with one by one shooting. A oh, little bit hard. And we're done. Now let's move on to rapid fire. Okay, now it is time for rapid fire. And that was rapid fire. Now let's move on to the end of the video. Okay, now that we are at the end of the video, it's time to go over my final thoughts. But before we do that, we can go over the extra pieces first. So I'm not gonna consider these as extra pieces because these will actually be needed for the model. Um, these, however, I will count, of course. So we've got one of these extra red spikes. I believe this might be a new recolor. Got a tiny spike, which I think is a new recolor as well. Might not be, I'm not sure though. Uh, we've got a half axle pinhole. Axle, I don't know. And then we have one of these. Got an extra stud, just in case. One of these, gray pins, black pin, and another one of these for some reason. So, that's pretty much it, and uh, I might as well go ahead and give you a closer look at the Mask of Control. Very, very nice detailing, just like the Mask of Creation. However, it's just it doesn't look just as good as the Mask of Creation, but it's still pretty cool. 
mainly because it's a le one of the leg legendary masks, but it still looks pretty nice and very pretty similar to the animations, or at least as close as it can be. But uh, anyways, that's going to be it for this video, so, but wait, no, no, we got to go over my final thoughts. So, my likes are definitely would be the functions, mainly all of the functions, so I really, really like that. Um, like how he how he's included with two weapons and not just one. Um, I also like how they um, added the um, little extra ammo here for his bow. That is very, very nice. That would have been really cool if we saw that for like Skull Warrior or something. But, oh well, at least they're doing it now. Better now than ever, like they say. I really like how we can take some parts off of him and make a shadow trap. So I really, really like that feature. Again, don't really I didn't think they would add that at first, but they did, so that's pretty cool. I also like all the new pieces, all the new recolors, all that, especially the masks. And the box is much more sturdy than it was, so I like that as well. But uh now I I also like the Technic build. I really like the Technic build. It's a better than the CCBS, and I it's a little bit sad they got rid of the gear function, but they still kind of have the gear function in the hips. But it's not the same. But, however, the gear function for the 2015 sets were a bit of a problem sometimes. They just didn't have enough friction. So that was unfortunate for those. But these ones are pretty good as well. Um, I feel like this might have too much friction. However, it's not too much of a problem for me. I feel like it has... It's good. It's fine. Because, yeah. But, uh, anyways. Um, some d another dislike would probably... Um, I actually don't have any dislikes other than this. Um, there could have been maybe an armor piece right here instead of just being hollow. But uh, yeah, there isn't really too many dislikes about this set. I a total, I would rate this a ten out of ten. It's a really good set. I would really recommend it for all of you. I this was the first set I got. Um, main, the main reason I got it was because of the mask control control. But uh, yeah, I was really happy when I got the set. So. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and keep building!